Hello everyone, welcome to Moonride, where we're channeling Man in the Moon. This is Dave Johnson, and today I am going to look at the Supreme Court. See what's going to happen there. I feel like changes. Let's see. Okay, the first word that comes is Gorsuth. I, I think, I don't even know if he's on the Supreme Court. Sometimes when I'm doing this work, I forget everything I know. <laughs> okay, so what's, a, okay. I think he must, he's on the Supreme Court, right? Regardless, Gorsuth, Gorsuth there's something going on with him. Yeah, maybe he's the guy they're considering retiring, right? So that they can put in another person, uh, right? So Gorsuth is leaving. It's funny because there's a door, but there's steps to a door. So there's going to be a few steps before he leaves. Uh, but um, then uh, he'll be replaced by a woman who looks a little bit like Judge Judy. That's who shows up as Judge Judy. Um, and maybe it's just the same, similar personality, right? Um, tough, but not um, necessarily left. Uh, that's kind of, it's just kind of like she's more, you know, a little bit centrist. No nonsense, that's what I see. So it's funny because she kind of sits to the one, she sits to the right of Kagan, right? So she's not going to be as liberal as Kagan, for example. Uh, but um, she'll be um, tough, really tough as nails. And she'll be tough as nails uh, with uh, the Republicans as well. Uh, Roberts is getting really angry. <clears throat> He's getting angry. He's slamming his gavel. He's so mad. <clears throat> what are you going to do, Roberts? But he gives me a feeling of trying to protect uh, people on the uh, Supreme Court, so specifically Kavanaugh. Uh, Kavanaugh, uh, he's trying to like block Kavanaugh stuff. It might also have to do with um, Amy, uh, the newest Supreme Court justice. Uh, Amy Barrett, and um, <clears throat> as he looks like he's really trying to uh, protect them, somehow he's getting mad and he keeps glancing over at the, the two of them who are looking um, nervous, and um, she's so mad she's ready to cry. He is just like, uh, he's got that mean little boy face that Kavanaugh has sometimes, uh, that mean, nasty little, um, you know, kid face that he shows sometimes and uh he uh something's really going down with him i think that they are they going to investigate him aha uh -huh. so now another door and um we open the door and there's a whole like almost like a backyard there with a swimming pool So what does this mean? It's a large yard, obviously, you know, financially well-off person. There's Kavanaugh, and he's got, like, one of those drinks with an umbrella in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so he's kind of living the life. Ah, you know, um, I know that somebody paid all his debts, and I think that's what this represents. Here's a, um, you know, person who's got enough money now. Well, uh, one thing is, you know, how do you get the debt? Uh, and the other being, you know, it's not necessarily legal to pay off the Supreme Court debt. If a justice has debt, you've got power over them. So that's what he's, he's like putting down his drink and going, uh-oh. <laughs> and here's an elephant. It's like the elephant in the room. Yeah, the elephant in the room is all of these things about his past that are not looking good. Right. Um, and, you know, I, he had a there was a witness in the Blasey Ford uh, incident and his name is Mark Judge. And he never went and uh, he never went and backed, you know, supposedly he sent in a letter, but he never went and testified to me that proved Kavanaugh's guilty. Right. He did it because why would his friend not? 
come forward if he was innocent. I think that judge is feeling a bit ashamed. He's feeling a bit guilty. And I think he, he's considering telling the truth. I don't know if he will, but he might. He might if he is pressed. So if they do a real investigation, I think Kavanaugh will be in a good deal more trouble. You know, they had that fake investigation where they never, they never interviewed Blasey Ford. They didn't interview any of the people who um, made claims. They didn't interview a single witness that we know of. So it was a fake. It was totally a scam. And there seems to be other implications in that. You know, you're not really allowed to, to do a fake investigation. That's a conspiracy. So specific people in Congress who uh, made that happen, they could also be under investigation and they should be under investigation. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, this is gonna be the real tough fight, right? Think about the fight that put Kavanaugh in there. And that is going to be multiplied by two or three when uh, they start asking questions about Kavanaugh. The f pushback is going to be really like kind of the ultimate battle. And, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens, you know, who wins. Let's see if we can get an idea of whether Kavanaugh stays or not. Mm, I see an angry Kavanaugh leaving. And it's like he steps out the doorway and poof, plummets. So there's nothing like he just disappears once he steps out the doorway. It's like empty space. And he's yelling all the way down. <laughs> yeah, he's so mad. Um, which indicates to me that uh, they will likely be successful. <laughs> Ship Spirit, can you show me one more thing? Can you show me? Um, let me know um, how will how and if Kavanaugh will go. Well, um, I do see his hair graying. So this might not happen right away. Might take a little bit of time to get him out of there. It also might be that this is graying his hair and fraying his nerves. Yeah, Kavanaugh knows what he did. He knows what kind of person he is, right? So he has to uh, deal with his inner demons. Kavanaugh's the kind of guy who thinks that he deserves to be Supreme Court Justice. He says, look how hard I worked and studied. I deserve it. I'm, I'm more ethical than everybody else. I deserve it. It's the um, argument of every white collar criminal. So is he gonna really leave? They're gonna push him right out that door. It is not going to be a, um, it's not going to be a Kavanaugh decision. They are literally pushing him out the door. And uh, I think that this is um, good in some sense. Uh, you know, we need our Congress to be a little bit stronger uh, with um, these people. You know, they're, the, the Dems always kind of wimp out at the end. You know, they, they never, I always worry about what everybody's thinking, you know. You're not going to change anybody's minds. I mean, there's no Republican that's ever going to uh, going to be on your side ever. Um, John McCain's dead, you know, so there's no one who's going to be reasonable. And you know, was anybody on the Republican side reasonable regarding Kavanaugh? No. So um, you know, why why try to be reasonable with these people? Uh, it's always on them to be nice, and I think it's really. I, what I do see is a strong reaction. You know, I see a coalition within the Democratic Party of people who are um, going after him. And they've got some uh, documents to prove it. They keep showing me documents. It might be that Kavanaugh has even more uh, dark stuff to hide that uh, they're going to investigate and find out about. Now that uh, Trump is no longer president, Kavanaugh is no longer protected from an investigation. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, F. Kellyanne Conway uh, has shown up in the picture. What are you doing here? She's looking upset too. I wonder if there's a connection between these two things. 
uh, maybe she witnessed something, or maybe it's just a similar situation because uh, Kellyanne Conway broke the um, Hatch Act many times. She should have been censured. She should have been fired. And I wonder if they are going to um, really put the cuffs on her now. She, again, she looks really worried and upset that things are happening. All right. So what else? Is there anything else we need to know about Supreme Court? No. Um, do not count on um, others leaving. So uh, we don't know. At least uh, it doesn't look right now like um, Amy Barrett will leave immediately. But um, Kavanaugh uh, should be very worried. Thanks so much for watching.